But I took that road, I took that route, and even though on a financial uh, scheme of things, as far as like my financial success, it, it took a pretty decent hit from being underpaid for such a period of time. But one thing that can't be taken away is the amount of experience that I gained, and I still wouldn't take back the the way that I did things. The only even I I wouldn't even necessarily work for another integrator that paid me better. Just just to be completely honest, uh, I could have worked for another company who's like way further into the future, has way more business structure set up. Uh, but overall, those were the experiences that like really put me in a pinch, made me be able to step up and program some type of system that I'd never programmed before, gave me the opportunity to program on platforms before that I'd never programmed on, and program applications that I'd never programmed before because the company being in a pinch, because I was there, I had some level of skill set to be able to perform that job and doing that and then doing it and then doing it and doing it over and over and over again until I got to the point where I felt like I could run my own company and be able to train other people to do those type of jobs and add more people to the industry that have these skill sets and can help add to the industry of automation because it's a growing field, it's a growing industry, and there's not enough of us out there. So guys, I'm going to wish you luck on your career success as a controls engineer. Uh, maybe one day you can even work for Elite Automation. We'd love to have you along. Um, we're a growing company, new company, and we're looking for people who are dedicated and ready to kill it, ready to crush it. We want to do business different. We want to do business better. We want to do business faster.